Welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a bike racing simulation game by the name of Extreme 500. This was a game that was actually released more to the later end of the PlayStation's life cycle. And at that point there was actually a lot of kind of like budget release type of titles that were released for the system. Some of them were really good, some of them not as good. It all it, it was obviously a, a good entry point for a lot of developers to try and get their feet wet with getting their ideas onto the likes of mainstream consoles and so forth at the time. So the PlayStation was definitely a, a big experimental platform for a lot of these developers back in especially towards the latter end of the PlayStation's life, life cycle. Now I do remember actually seeing this game in the likes of the game stores and stuff like that and it used to always go for fairly cheap. I at the time I wasn't really that much of interested in actually buying it. Because I was always kind of wanting to play like other games or experience or purchase other games on the system. But I do like bike racing games because I've always been a big fan of the Road Rash series. The original Road Rash game on the PlayStation 1 is one of my all time favourite games. I absolutely love that game. So I have played other racing games and bike games on the likes of modern consoles which I thoroughly enjoyed as well. And even on the PlayStation 1, I remember I used to own was it Motor Racer 2 and I actually really enjoyed that game. I actually thought that was a brilliant game. So it is interesting to go back and to actually explore a lot of these other type of games. So I, ne I never really got to play this, I've only actually played this more so recently, up until now I've never actually really experienced this game. And so I said right I'll give it a go and I'll make a video on it and see what I think about it. From the first impressions, it's, it's decent enough. I will say it's not the best racing game I've actually played on the system. Graphically, it's definitely a bit weaker in terms of some of the, the renderings of compared to some other games. But again, I don't really class the game in terms of how it looks on the PlayStation because I always just loved that whole era of the PlayStation and the 32-bit era. The graphics, everything was kind of unique. It does offer, it does suffer from a little bit of slowdown in terms of, it does be a wee bit laggy in places and sometimes the controls can be very fiddly and even when you change camera angles it can definitely affect how you handle the bike and so forth and the races are quite difficult I will admit in each game I tried to play a few games and I struggled to even get beyond the top like tenth place in it so I did it just it, it is quite difficult once the other racers, once they get a good bit ahead of you, that's it. The chances of you catching up with them are slim and none. So it is quite a difficult game to kind of master and get used to. But for the most part, I enjoyed and played through with it and I thought it was okay. Again, like I mentioned, there is other games that are better on the system, but that's my whole goal with this channel, is literally to experience as many games as I actually can on the PlayStation. Now, not to say that it's a bad game, because it is actually decent for what it is. It just wouldn't be the best bike game or best racing game out there. But it is worth a play through just to see what you think of it anyway. So that was that's my goal as well, just to give these games a go and see what I think of them. Because they all do offer something unique. They, they, whether Regardless of whether they're good or not so good, every game on the system definitely has something to offer and offers you its own unique experience. So it is worthwhile actually exploring and looking into these titles. And for me, it is definitely actually a privilege to actually go back over the old classic games that I actually grew up with. And even just to explore all these other type of games that I did actually see but didn't really either get the chance to play or I didn't think about it really at that time. So it is interesting to actually kind of just explore these type of titles and see what they're all about. And they do offer their own unique experiences, I will say that for sure. And there is a lot of good points, even though there is probably not some probably not as good, probably some bad. But they are what they are. That's the, that's the way the console was. And even modern games today, there's a lot, of, a lot of games you see on modern consoles that aren't too great either. When you consider how technology has actually gone on, there's a lot of fairly below power games, even in today's market as well and you'll see that regularly so I wouldn't worry too much about 
you know how they play in that it, everything is unique to the system and what it's about and this here game is no different this game actually is playable it actually does play quite well when you get to master it it actually isn't too bad again it just wouldn't be as good as a lot of other racers I played on the system but from the brief playthrough that I did actually have of it I was enjoying it I was getting the hang of it the races do be quite long the tracks are long I will admit so it, it does feel like the races go on a lot longer than you probably like them to but again it is what you make of it at the end of the day so I, I, I found that as the, I was playing it more the more I was actually getting into it and I was starting to gain a few places back so I was able to start to learn the layer of the tracks and know how to judge the corners and braking and so forth so again it's just with these type of games you have to just be patient with them you really need to just kind of just sit down with them and actually just give them a really good go and just just have a clear head with them and just actually be patient not to get frustrated with them because if you allow yourself to get frustrated the problem is is you'll actually probably might have actually a, the premise of a decent game there but you just won't allow yourself to enjoy it but if you relax and just allow yourself to enjoy the experience you, you will probably enjoy games like these here so in my opinion right even though it may not be the best bike racing game or best racing game on the system but it is worth actually having a look if it is something that you're into so by all means you've nothing to lose go and check it out even if it's just for a quick playthrough just for a few laps on a couple of the tracks definitely feel free to give it a go if you have a chance to actually pick it up or actually play it so what are your thoughts on extreme 500 have you actually managed to play it if you did have it back in the day if so what are your thoughts of it did you enjoy it or not make sure to share your thoughts down in the comments so if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, also subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated when I do release future videos, as I will be exploring other classic games and reliving and resharing a lot of those old memories and even exploring other games like this here that I never got to play back in the day. Plus it also does help to increase engagement and actually get more people to see these videos, so it greatly helps the channel. So as always, Make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them. And be sure to keep those gaming memories alive.